Alright, so what is going on guys? BCF, back again with another video, and in today's video I have an unboxing for you guys, but I also want to recap my Toronto trip, so I'm going to start off with that. If you guys don't want to watch, just skip ahead. If you guys don't even know what I'm talking about, just skip ahead and you guys will see what I copped. But I just wanted to start off by saying, um, I know like the Toronto trip kind of ended abruptly, like vlogging wise. Uh, I didn't record the last two days just because we were doing the exact same thing we did on the two prior days that I did record. So I didn't want to film the entire day and like pretty much upload the same exact thing. All we did was shop and eat and I didn't even come home with anything. So it wasn't really like anything worth recording since I already had recorded it prior. Um, I do regret not recording one of the days because we did uh, go to a few cool shops and we did eat a lot, but you live and you learn, whatever. Uh, it would have been the same thing anyway, and I just didn't want to bore you guys. I hope you guys understand that, but um, while I was there, I did pick up a pair of Common Projects. You're going to see in the title, so I might as well just say it. Uh, I did pick up a pair of Common Projects on Grailed while I was there since I didn't pick up anything. I was frustrated, and I found these for a steal. So, $200 is how much I paid for these. They don't come with a box, but they look like they're in really, really good condition. Um, so I hope it's not a scam or anything, because $200 for a pair of Common Projects is very good. Maybe too good to be true. But let's see what we got in the box. So, yeah, I hope you guys understand why I didn't record for Toronto. But I got a lot of content coming soon. I have a whole layout uh, in my notes and videos I want to put out for you guys. Uh, starting off with this one, I don't even know how to open this. It's like taped really weird. So, come with some wrapping paper. Let's open them up together. Alright, this one looks good so far. Another pin right here. So, as you can see, these are the Common Projects Chelsea Boots. Let's get that focused on those. These are the Common Project Chelsea Boots in the uh, tan colorway. And looking at them, they do look like they're in good condition. There is a little scuff right there, as you can see. But I don't mind it, because I'm going to wear these anyway. And they're going to get way worse than this. So uh, I got these in a size 40. My true size, I want to say, is a 9, because that is what I am in most shoes, I guess. Uh, Maybe eight and a half, but I would say nine. Um, eight and a half can be tight in a lot of shoes. Nine is pretty good. So um, these are two sizes down. So my Achilles lows are also two sizes down. And my friend has these, and I tried his on, and they fit. They were a little snug, but I felt like the 41 would have been too long because this is a narrow shoe. So it was tight around the forefoot area, but it's too long. So if I would have gotten a 41, it would have been like, like clown shoes. But yeah. Condition on these looks really nice actually. For two hundred dollars, it's not bad at all. It does look like there's a crack in it. Actually, it's on both sides, so it probably just comes like that. I'm talking about this right there. It's on both shoes. As you can see. That's a little weird. But um yeah. Beast feel legit. That's one thing with the with like designer shoes, it's kind of hard to replicate them because like you're gonna have to go pretty far to get the same materials and same quality as like the original uh, people, the authentic design. So like that would bring up the cost of a fake shoe a lot and not a lot of people would pay a lot for a fake shoe, I would hope. So uh, yeah, even the bottoms are pretty clean and these get really dirty. So I ended up selling all my Represent Chelsea boots because of the sole, it was stacked leather. And I literally almost fell on my ass walking in school one day, and I got so pissed off, I ended up just selling all of them. Um, but this is a rubber outsole, like a crepe outsole, I should say, which is, I mean, it has its benefits and it has its downfalls. Like, it's going to get super dirty like this, and there's not really a way to clean it, but I'm not going to be slipping. So, <laughs> that's good. And the quality on these is definitely way better. It's a common project, so 
200 bucks, can't really go wrong whatsoever. This is a great shoe, and I'm glad to have a Chelsea boot back in my collection. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button and leave a comment down below. I'm going to be posting more content soon. I, like I said, I have a whole list of content I want to put out in my notes, so stay tuned for that. If you want to be up to date, just hit that subscribe button, maybe the notification bell, uh, so you can see when I post. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys understand why I didn't post for the, the rest of the Toronto trip. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Have you ever seen the flea?